Hello everybody, this is SF and as you can see this is a new game. It's not a really new new game in terms of being out in the market. It's called Crash Fever. I played the JP version like two years ago. I think it's been out for around two, three years in JP. It only recently came to the NA side around half a year ago, a year or half a year ago. Uh, so I decided to pick it up uh, since I do have a little bit more time for my channel now So it is a new account. So I just started in terms of gameplay Why not just show you first? Uh, there are rank specific quests out so if you're depending on the rank that you get a uh, specific quest So right now I'm rank 14. So I got 8 and 10 out. So let's do one of those quests right now and we'll show you the gameplay. Uh, these, the three monsters that I have right now, are basically what you get at the start of the of the game. The one that I have in front is after you clear off the first section of normal dungeons, then you get this monster. So basically, you see the board right here. There are different color, uh, different color shapes. They're called panels, and Basically, you get three turns. On your tap count at the bottom left, there are three uh, three finger symbols. Basically, you get three turns of clearing a specific color. So right now, uh, I'm over. Uh, I'm hovering different colors, and once I release it, then uh, I'll clear those panels off the board. And then, depending on the panel color, it will deal damage. Or of course, there's our pink ones, which are hearts. So since I have a a uh, yellow, uh, yellow monster that's up attacking, then I'm going to clear some yellow panels and that will increase her damage towards the boss right now. So basically you have three turns to uh, clear off uh, the board. And then depending on the amount, then you will be able to uh, deal more damage and things like that. Uh, this is an easy quest because basically she doesn't do anything. So there are different strategies to this. Uh, you can set up the board for your other monsters. So let's try setting up a board. Actually, let's let's just do this. Uh, you see the seven, and then you see at the end of the seven, there's a little character icon thing. Uh, they're called character panels, I think. I think they're called character panels. Yeah, C skills or C panels or character panels. So once you, uh, once you clear them, they will do a special effect. So for this guy, uh, this is Rebel Mai. Uh, her C skill is low damage to one enemy and effective against yellow units. Uh, since it's not a yellow unit, it doesn't really matter that much. But it does give you uh, more damage. Although it's very little because she is a star unit. <laughs> and that's basically the game. You get three turns to start wiping the board and and dealing damage to the enemy. Uh, each monster does have a skill. I should stall for skills, but you know, we'll have you. Let's see. Yeah, she's not attacking. So let's finish off Happy, which is her name. And let's set up the board for, let's set up a board for Mai and then we'll see some really nice action. Okay, so I'm basically trying to clear off all the non-green. Oh, I killed her. <laughs> I was trying to clear off all the green, non-green, uh, non-green panels so my can just go ballistic. But since it is an easy dungeon, uh, we'll go in from there. But in future videos, I'll do more of it. But uh, I just want to do like a quick introduction uh, video of this game uh, there's a lot more that's going on so if you want to play it uh, then download it and then there's a tutorial as well it's all in english let's sell some stuff uh you see i have all these ducks uh, ducks are uh what you call it ducks are your exps and i'm saving all these exps and you get them you get a lot of, you get most of them from the start uh by just playing the normal dungeons uh, i'm just saving them because i am going to roll the hatcher right now and to start off my account, so right now there is a summer event, so I'm, I'm going to completely skip this summer event hatcher thing. 
what I'm going to do is roll this one. It's called, it's called the special pickup. And first two 10 shots is worth 250 polygons. Regular 10 shot is 500. So you get a half 50% a discount on the uh, in the hatcher for your first two 10 shots. And then one of the four special units guarantees. So the four characters on the banner uh, for your third try. So basically on your 1,000 1, polygon or your third 10 shot, you get one of these four monsters. I'm not sure about, uh, I think these four are five stars. The max is six. People can evolve or awaken up to six. So it's kind of like uh, kind of like Monster Strike where you can evolve or awaken. Wait, awaken is basically ascension. But let's go, 10 shot, and hopefully I get something good. Uh, for people that have played ca uh, Crash, Crash Fever, I don't know who's really, really good. I know some specific effects that are really strong, like increase your tap count or uh, just crazy uh, panel changes. So let's see. Touch. If it's a rainbow, then it's a five star. Yes. Uh, the rainbows are really, really good from what I remember. So the rainbow eggs. Uh, who is her? Ultra rare. I think she's a five star. I think rainbows are five stars. But there is a trap where it only stops at five stars. So on your right side, uh, you see the evolution chain. So basically, uh, Gabriella. Gabriella Bloom, Bloom uh, goes up to 5 stars, so I think they add uh, 6 star Wiccans to 5 star monsters in the future, so maybe you probably, I'll probably keep her and just let her stay there until she gets a 6 star Wiccan. Let's go for the next one. And also, uh, the gold ones are 4 stars. 4 stars also has a chance to go to a 6 star. You just gotta look at the evolution chain. Uh, this one doesn't go to Five, so kind of skip that one. Okay, next rainbow. And let's see what she brings. Oh, she goes to six. Uh, Artemis. Uh, sorry, I can't really go to. Uh, I can't really see the uh, see the six star form in terms of stats. But as you can see, it's kind of like Ascension Monster Strike, where you have to bring. You have to beat two uh, event monsters to uh, actually go to our next level it's called awakening for a lot of them uh, her skill converts red to crash which is really nice and then one turn for yellow so she's a good board changer for the most part and C skills are crash skills but uh, what have you <laughs> like I said I don't really remember much and I played the JP version so you know uh, wording is kind of uh, not the same. Uh, this one can definitely skip because yeah, she goes from 3 to 4 star. Next one. Okay, I don't know who's who, so. <laughs> Ekidona goes to 5 star. So, not bad. But converts hearts to blue panels, so. Eh. She's pretty low on my party list for the most part. She looks awesome. I think she's a wood or a green monster. Let's see. Hermes. And goes to six. That is really good then. And I need a lot of land dragons. And let's see. Spawn two, 23. Holy crap. 23 crash panels? That is a lot. That's one tap. Yo, that is OP. Like I said, tap count. There are skills that... Increase tap counts. So basically, with her skill, I can uh, can get four can get four moves per turn for two turns. So I can help uh, my next monster. Can also, holy crap, that is awesome. Well, she, although her skills and stuff are geared to dragons only, but as a wood monster, she is pretty awesome. Holy crap. That is a definite winner for me. Next one. He looks meh. <laughs> he looks meh. Oh, he goes to six. Oh, that's the guy in the banner. 
Wow, holy crap. So Gustav goes in the banner. He's, he was in the banner, so that is... I'm sorry for saying you're bad, dude. <laughs> sorry for saying bad. Uh, reduce red panel spawn rates. Hopefully his awakened form will be a little bit better in terms of skill because that's not a awesome skill. Okay, next one. Boom. Fire monster. Of course it's good to have a wide variety of monsters. And Fenrir, is she part of the banner as well? I think she's part of the banner as well. So that is awesome, animal. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the awakened form will be uh, up to snuff with all the other ones. Especially with, like, especially in terms of Hermes. Hermes' skill is OP, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure people that play Crash Fever will think, like, she's not that OP. I don't know. Uh, she is not great. <laughs> of course, she can go to 5 star. But, you know, like I said, 5 stars can go to 6 stars. They can, they always add awakens later on in the game, from what I've remembered. But Hermes, Gustav, Fenrir are the major winners. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, you see Fenrir and Gustav on the right side. That is pretty awesome. And let's start uh, putting ducks into him. Uh, where's my Hermes? Hermes, I'm gonna put all my ducks into. Ducks, ducks. Nice. And then there are... Let's just... Wait, is there max level 60, right? Nope, max level 80, so I can just enhance. For now. Super success. Nice. I think it's 1.5 for super success. Probably not. Who knows? Uh, and then let's increase her skill. So basically, there are ways to increase her skill level. Uh, right now, let's. Right now, her skill level is at one at eleven turns. You can't really check the max skill turn. And then all you have to do is put in these blue alchemy apples. They're fruits, alchemy fruits, mega alchemy fruits. So this one increases by two levels, and the and these ones. And the normal ones goes to one. That's max already. Let's see. Yep, the max is five. So let's put in those alchemy turtles into them. And enhance. But yeah. That is OP Hermes. And an ultra success. Although they don't give out that much HP. Uh, EXP. And max skill. Uh, there's a lot of other aspects. There are pluses as well. So same thing as puzzles and dragons if you play them. Pluses. Uh, pluses are a little bit hard for me because you have to decide which plus to go through. So I'm pretty sure the uh, Crash Fever players will know which pluses to go for depending on what monster you have. But yeah, let's go and put in Hermes in. And I guess Gustav for now. I'm not sure. I'll probably check up later to see if Gustav or Fenrir is really really good after their awakened form. But that's pretty much like uh, pretty much Crash Fever and in terms of gameplay and of course I rolled Hatcher. I got four monsters that can go to six star forms I think. And there's also co-op so let's just do a sneak peek of co-op. Oh, folder's full. Let's sell some guys that I don't really need. <laughs> I think she's the one that I don't really need. If it's... Yeah, uh, Artemis is also another 6 star, so... Whatever. Uh, join room. So basically, choose your monster and choose your team. And then you see a whole lobby. A full lobby of different... Uh, of different quests that are up. And all that stuff. And then you can search again, and then right now there is a duck hunt operation, so basically farm all the ducks for EXPs, and these are gorilla events. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Crash Fever. If you have any advice in terms of who to go for in Hatchers and whatnot, then by all means go. I know how to play somewhat, but you know, I don't know everything and things like that. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.